Right, good day, viewers. Today I want to introduce you to a new mathematics tricks. This time I will show you how to get the square root of any two digit numbers, especially the square root of uh, non square numbers. Non square numbers. So, now what are square numbers? Square numbers are numbers whose square root are rational numbers. For example, if you have 16, 16 is 4 times 4. So the square root of 16 is equal to 4. So we say that 16 is a square number. Now, but if you have a number like 17, the square root of 17 is not a whole number. It's a fraction. It's a decimal. So we say that 17 is a non-square number. Now, to get the square root of a non-square number, we, we can't just get it like this you need calculator or table. But today I want to show you a simple trick on how to find the square root of uh, non-square numbers without calculator, without square root table. Now to do that, you have to have at the back of your mind that the trick will on, is only correct to one decimal place. So anything beyond one decimal place, two decimal, three decimal place, I cannot guarantee the accuracy of this. So stick to one decimal place. Anything beyond that, you have to look for your calculator. So let's start. To start, we need to understand this table. On this table, you have a square and square root. Now you have one to 10. The square of one is one, square of two is four, square of three is nine, and so on. So you continue to square of nine, 81, square of 10, 100. So the opposite is what we call the square root. So the square root of 100 is 10, the square root of 81 is 9, the square root of 64 is 8, the square root of 49 is 7, the square root of 36 is 6, the square root of 25 is 5, the square root of 16 is 4. So those are what we call square roots. Now, if you have, you have to cram all this before you can do what you want to do. Now. So let's go ahead and evaluate the square root of 10. All you need is, uh, you cannot, you cannot get it. Offhand, you need calculator. So, where is my calculator? We need to have. Uh, can you please give me calculator or give me your phone? I uh, check this in your phone. No, you don't need all that. If you just understand this trick now, you can do this without calculator. So, let's see how it is done. If you this can be written as nine plus one. Remember, ten is a little bit above nine, but it's also below sixteen. Nine and sixteen. So, you can either write it as nine plus one. Or you write it as 16 minus 6. In both cases, you are correct. But there's something we want to look at now. Look at this addition here. What you add to the square number. Here is uh, 1. Here is 6. So 1 is less than 6. So we choose this. That's the criteria for choosing which one to work with. If this is less than this, we choose it. If this is less than this, we choose the one that is less. So in this case, we are going to choose this particular. So we delete this other one and we continue. Next, you have to find the square of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. Now pick up this addition and place it there. So it becomes plus. Next, you take that one that you added, take it up and write it as a fraction of, let's follow this step. Take the 3 there, multiply it by 2. And that's all. So, you got the answer. You got the answer. So the square root of 10 is 3 on number 1 over 6. Now write that in decimal point. We are going to have 3.2. So let's check our calculator quickly and see whether we have uh, the same answer. Calculator, calculator. Bring it out. Our calculator result is 3.2 to 1 decimal place. That's exactly what I'm saying. The answer and the calculator answer is exactly the same when you write it in two decimal places. If you write it in three decimal and four decimal, you see the difference. So that is why our own is an approximate answer. Please take note of that. Take note of that. Now let's continue with another example. Let's continue with another example. Evaluate the square root of 32. This time, don't look for calculator. Go straight to the point. 32 is between uh 25 and 36 so you can write in terms of 25 you can write in terms of 36 let's see how it's being done so you can write it like this 25 plus 7 or 36 minus 4 in both case you have it so now 
check the criteria seven and four which one is smaller which one is less four is less so we take this and drop this so clean up this immediately we take that out take this one and we work with this so after selecting which one to work with follow the same procedure the square root of 36 is six then you bring out your minus in this case it's minus so you put minus check the sign here that is what should be here now pick up your four all over take that six the same procedure multiply by two so that will give you 12. 6 times 2 is 12. So 4 divided is 1. 4 divided 12 is 2. So that will now give us 6 minus 1 over 3. So if you subtract that, you get 5 1 over 2 over 3. So the answer is 5 1 over 2 over 3. So write it in decimal. We are going to have 5.7. Let's compare our result with calculator result. Calculator result. Calculator result. 5.7. That's so, so good. So cute. So if you do this, you are going to get a better result, a, a quick answer to the square root of this kind of uh, numbers. Now, go to the next one. So you help me here. How do we write it? 90 is between 181. 90 is between 181. So write it. Have you done that? Now check my result. So 90 is 81 plus 9. Or 100 minus 10. Now, which of them is the one we are going to use? 10 is higher than 9, so 9 is lesser. So we use this and drop this. So drop that. After dropping that, follow the same procedure that we followed earlier. The square root of 81 is what? 9. So this is plus, so put the plus sign. Take your 9 up and divide it by. Bringing this 9 down, multiply by 2. So if you cancel 9, 9 divided by 2, that will give you 1 over 2. So the answer is going to be 9 over 1 over 2. In decimal, you have 9.5. So, so sweet. Check your calculator result. 9.5, my brother. This is so sweet. Ah, thank you so much. You have learned a new trick. A new trick today. Please don't forget, practice, make perfect. Go and practice it. Uh, this trick will be useful to you in the exam or anywhere you are. This trick is very, very useful. You don't need calculator. You don't need four figure test. Thank you. Please don't forget to join us this Friday. This Friday, we will be talking about geometry. We are starting a geometry series from lesson one, which is plane shape. We will go all the way to all the lessons in geometry. Please join us. Thank you.